Luna Classic is testing a key resistance level, and if that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pinky Charts here. Welcome back to another Luna Classic analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. As you guys can see from yesterday's video, we are still testing these exponential moving averages with no clear indication on Luna Classic whether we will see a pump or not. I mentioned in yesterday's video that, of course, in terms of a support level and resistance being tested, we are right now below the major support level and acting as a resistance point. So ideally a bearish case scenario is obviously in favor the only difference of course is the fact that if we do see a strong bullish engulfing candle then that move set will be invalidated and we would have to see a close above this 18 mark find it as support and then a continuation today is of course the weekend and we really are not expecting much liquidity until tonight we could be looking for a possible move set so keep that in mind as you guys are trading this right now of course is a no trade zone because of the fact that we are consolidated in between these exponential moving averages and ideally what we want to see is a clean break whether we continue pushing on higher or of course our major support level here at the 16 mark breaks then we can start looking for our overall shorting positions ideally i would like to see that 14 level tested i've mentioned this many many times because of the fact that we've only seen one test confirmation a second and third test confirmation on this major support at 14 would mean the fact that we did find a local bottom formation on luna classic but in my opinion once again i really don't think Think that this level is going to be the one that we see the bounce in my opinion it will be the 86 because it does hold a lot more weight on the daily time frames and the fact that we consolidate at that level for multiple multiple weeks Right now, though, on Luna Classic, if we look at the four hour time frames, there is a few things to keep in mind. Number one, of course, zooming in the chart, you can start to see that we are seeing multiple bearish engulfing candles. But the fact that is we are still in a very neutral standpoint, we did get a very nice push above a few days ago. But immediately after we saw this level being retested at the 17 mark with a beautiful gravestone doji, followed by a bearish engulfing candle. Ideally, right now, of course, if we do see a break of this formation, we do have a four hour small bar formation as well on the four hours to retest that 16 bottom and if we do see that bottom out play out then we could definitely start looking for overall shorting positions to continue pushing back down over here on the hourly time frames you can see that we are also in that bar formation on the hourly as well volume is starting to die out and you can see that the exponential moving averages are slowly starting to push lower and lower of course this would be invalidated if we did get a strong bullish move to the upside but as of right now that volume just simply doesn't exist on luna classic when we tend to see no volume you guys already know from my previous videos that when that happens we start seeing larger move sets right you can see pretty much this whole range when i was making videos it was extremely boring for you guys to watch because nothing was happening in this consolidation but i mentioned as soon as we broke above the exponential moving average used it as support that was our confirmation you can see that we had a very explosive move retesting that 18 as of right now i'm mentioning the same exact situation again volume is starting to die as we are consolidating but in this time i am expecting a move to the downside of course even if we do see a wick to the upside and then a continuation that definitely is a possibility but we have to keep in mind from a bullish case scenario we would need a candlestick close above this 18 level and then the continuation looking at the daily time frames i did want to talk about a few things number one of course is the fact that we are in between these exponential moving averages we are consolidating before this whole move set towards the downside we were using these exponential moving averages as resistance you can see we did find a neutral standpoint right here as well we did get a clean break kind of like what we saw right over here but immediately after we saw that bearish engulfing candle continue pushing back down if that is the case then we could be expecting a wick possibly back down to the 86 level and then ideally what we're looking for is to see whether or not we see that bullish pressure come in make that wick of course a v-shaped formation that would give us the overall analysis to start looking for some long entries the daily time frames are going to be very very important for luna classic to try to figure out exactly where these levels are going to be played but in my opinion right now you can see that we already had a second double top almost third confirmation on the bullish case analysis and you can see that the bulls are failing to break above this level that usually indicates on the daily the fact that there's no bullish pressure so we could be looking for a continuation to the downside and ideally after this massive waterfall effect this was just a consolidation zone before continuation that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have one